Welcome back. Let us discuss the Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina Hurricanes, if there was wagering by yours truly on who would win the Stanley Cup right now, I would have a hard time not taking the Carolina Hurricanes. It's as close as I'm going to get. Uh, so Carolina has had a remarkable season. And most recently, at the time I'm recording this, they have defeated the Boston Bruins. And they made it look relatively easy. Now, they have two games left before the break. Uh, Tuesday at home against LA and then Wednesday in Buffalo. So both of those games are, are going to be while I'm, I'm in California. So while I'll be watching and recapping those games from there. Uh, let us go ahead and discuss Carolina's record, and I'll make sure this posts to the channel after those games are done. We'll see if anything's changed. I doubt it. Uh, I don't think that even if they lost both games against LA and Buffalo, I'm, I'm not going to change my mind on them. Uh, so their highest ranking on the power rankings first, their lowest ranking 12th. Currently, I have them at number two because on Saturday they were number two, but with that win over Boston, I did switch spots. And it's because Carolina's been playing really, really well. So it's not as much, and people will talk about, well, you know, in the standings, Boston's so far ahead. Then nobody else is allowed to be first, even if Boston's playing terribly, and I think that's not true. Now, I'm not saying Boston's playing bad. I'm saying Carolina, I think, is the best team in the league right now. So that 32-9-8 record, well, how did they get here? 7-2-1 and one through their first 10 games. 10-6-4 uh, and four through 20 games. 18-6-6 six and six through... 30 games, so they do have problems with extra time, but they're still not losing a lot in regulation. Through 40 games, 25, 8, and 7, and since then they've been 7, 1, and 1. So they've won 7 out of 9. They've been excellent. I've got their status as contender. I debated about whether or not to write favorite under there, but I, I don't know that they would be the favorite. I think still Boston would probably be the favorite. I already did the Boston video and labeled them as a contender, so it would be wrong for me to put Carolina as a favorite. Uh, the MVP is tough. So while I just did a Chicago video where the tough part was figuring out, so who's been the best player? In Carolina, it's more of who's the best player. This is a really good team. So it's kind of a, a difference between Chicago and Carolina. Understandable considering where they are in the standings and everything. The playoff odds, pretty good. 99.98% chance that they make the playoffs. Not quite 100, but pretty darn close. And so if you're hoping for Carolina to fall out of the playoffs, I guess there's a chance, but it's not likely. Uh, so I gave Natchez the MVP because I think that, I mean, obviously the fans think he's the MVP. They tried to vote him in the All-Star game and the NHL either said no or there were a bunch of votes we didn't see. But either way, Natchez, uh, 21 goals, 24 assists, 45 points for him. He leads them in scoring. Ajo, 21 goals, 23 assists for 44 points. Ajo has been very, very good, which surprises no one. Uh, Svechnikov, 19 goals, 20 assists for 39 points for him. Uh, Burns, 8 goals, 26 assists for 34 points. Burns has been rejuvenated playing in Carolina, and I think that his offensive numbers will be lower than they were in San Jose for a number of reasons. He's not necessarily the go-to guy every time in, in Carolina, which is how things were in San Jose before the arrival of Carlson. But he, he's playing really well. I think he's he's been a lot of fun to watch this year. Martinook has been excellent. 10 goals, 14 assists for him for 24 points. Uh, really solid all-around team, good four lines, good top six on the blue line. And the goaltending, it's funny because Kachetkov, we were talking about, what, a month ago? Yeah, Anderson's come back and he's been good. So Freddie Anderson's clearly the starter. Ronta's still the backup. Uh, Ronta may very well be in his last year in Carolina, but Freddie Anderson could be too. Kachetkov's the only goalie that they have of the three who is under contract for next year. So we could talk about their UFAs because it's an interesting list. First, you've got Jordan Stahl. I would be very surprised if Stahl doesn't stick around. He's their captain. He's their leader. He is a face-off genius. He he out face off Bergeron yesterday for large portions of that game against the Bruins. Sorry, Bear was trying to bury your food. So, yeah, Stahl, uh, absolutely excellent season for him overall. I'd be kind of surprised if they don't bring him back. Same for Fast. And, and I don't think these guys are going to cost them a lot either. Uh, step on, veteran player, if he wants to come back, fine. Like, there's nothing really to worry about here if you're Carolina. It's not like they have to win now. Uh, they've got Stastny, who had a rough start, but he's been playing better lately. DeHaan, depth defense. Uh, Anderson and Ranta, the goaltenders. I would be very surprised if they moved on from Freddie. I think it'll be Anderson and Kachetkov. I don't think it'll be a long-term contract for Freddie Anderson. I think probably two years, but uh, we'll see what happens there. And Ranta, I think, is probably playing out the string. Uh, they probably go with Kachetkov and Anderson next year. Uh, Pacioretty, sadly, of course, coming back from an Achilles injury. It looks like he came back too soon. 
Um, he just he tore it again. So with the loss of of Pacioretty for the rest of the season, that's tough for them. But Carolina's a team that's got a lot of depth, and so it would be great to have Pacioretty in there. And he looked good when he was playing, but. Uh, yeah, for Pacioretty, uh, the season's done and he's going to market this summer. Uh, we'll see what kind of contract offers he gets and and where he ends up. Does Pacioretty maybe end up back in Montreal? Um, could could Vegas circle back and go, you know what, we'll give him a contract for a lot cheaper. And, or does this Carolina say, hey, you didn't get enough time and we want to give you a look? So we'll see. But uh, then you've got long, long-term long injured reserve. Uh, Jake Gardner. Uh, his career may be done. So this is another long-term injured reserve where the guy's been there for a while. Uh, it's too bad. I like Gardner. Uh, and then Andre Kasha, who I swear can score goals. The problem is he can't stay healthy. And for Kasha, uh, it's been the storyline since he was in Anaheim. It's been the storyline wherever he's been. And it's too bad because he's he's a good player. He's useful. Uh, he can play a third-line role. And he can put the puck in the net. But you don't get a chance to prove that much if you're on the LTIR, LTIR as often as he is. So, let me know your thoughts regarding the Carolina Hurricanes in the comment section below. Champions this year? Not champions? Let me know. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.